There are certain things we always bring when we leave the hotel. A power bank and a pouch always make the list for sure, though that's not all we bring with us. Hey, I'm Tom from Pack Hacker. Today we're talking about everyday carry travel essentials to bring on your next trip. And thanks so much to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the gear. There are plenty of reasons to opt for a minimalist wallet. They fit nicely into your pants pockets and help you reduce the cards that you carry. If you're looking for one with a familiar billfold design, then check out the Reform card holder. I love the feel of the polyethylene material and it's super durable too. Magnets help it stay folded so you don't have to worry about it opening in your sling. You can fit about nine cards in each of the three slots depending on their thickness and the grippy texture of the material holds them tight. The outer sleeve is perfect for your favorite cards or some cash. We've noticed that it can be a little hard to get to the card that you need with too many inside and with too few they could slip out of place. This is especially an issue if you have those fancy stiffer cards like the American Express Platinum or the Chase Sapphire Preferred. No matter how you pack it up, it is great for transit cards if you're visiting a place that hasn't switched to phones or digital payments. Plus, you'll keep track of your hotel room key, insurance card, and credit cards with ease. It's more than capable of getting you through your next trip. And who knows, you may even like the streamlined feel so much that you start carrying it every day at home too. This is totally what's happened to me as it's become my go-to everyday wallet. And there's a version of this that holds coins, which we talk a little bit more in detail about in our Minimalist Wallets Roundup. So make sure to check that out. Link down in the description below. Have you ever wanted to capture the night view from the window of your Airbnb? The pink and blue clouds rolling over the ocean hit different on vacation. Whatever memory you want to capture, a travel tripod can help you get the perfect time lapse. We like the Joby Grip Type 1 micro stand because it's super low profile, yet still has a secure grip on your smartphone, so you can watch videos on the go or snap a great shot. Along with being a pack hacker pick, it's also one of staff writer Eric's favorite travel accessories because it fits into nearly any pocket or sling. Unlike some other mobile stands, you don't need a specific phone case to use it. It also works with a small point and shoot camera or to connect to your phone to a standard tripod if you have one handy. It can tumble over in a light wind or take a fall when not carefully set up, but the grippy feet can help keep it in place as long as you find the right balance. Once you get the hang of it, you'll find this three-in-one travel accessory worth taking wherever you explore. You never know where you'll find your new favorite travel essential. With Bespoke Post, this video's sponsor, you can get some gear for your next trip and a monthly box of awesome. I'm always searching for new travel sunglasses, so I dig the Shine Box. It includes a handmade pair from Rain, a leather case from Line of Trade, and a microfiber cloth. I love how many styles these come in too, since sunglasses are so personal to each person. I'm excited about the Chill Box for Summer too because of the Ren Day Tripper cooler bag and stainless steel bottle opener. It's perfect for the beach and has room for a 24 pack of beer, eight bottles of wine, or afternoon snacks. Bespoke Post is free to join and each box has around $70 of gear for a fraction of the price. Plus you can swap your box, skip a month, or cancel at any time. Take a quiz and get introduced to cool new products like outdoor gear, home goods, and more every month. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link down in the description below and enter PackHacker20 at checkout. Or you can also go to bespokepost.com slash packhacker20. Now back to some more everyday travel essentials. We all love travel backpacks, but they're pretty big for daily excursions, and that's why we dig slings. Air's Day Sling 3 makes it easy to carry and find what you need while traveling. When you're going through the airport, you can put all of the contents of your pockets right into this sling. When you get to the security, you can just pop this into the bin. You don't have to have stuff just all over the place. At your destination, you can pack an extra layer, some snacks, sunscreen, and more with you throughout the day in a bag that stays comfortably close at hand. The Day Sling 3 has a flat base, which allows you to stand it up on the table for easy packing before you leave for the day. See, check it out, just stands up on its own just like that. You can stash tickets, your phone, and your keys in the front pocket. There's also a sturdy key clip inside, so it's easy to pull out. A back pocket on the sling is good for a passport wallet and other essential documents. Meanwhile, the main compartment organization makes it easy to find your battery bank, a packable jacket, Nintendo Switch, some snacks, and your AirPods. We think those are essential too, and keep watching to find out why. If you're curious to see how I pack my sling, we made a video for Pack Hacker Pro members earlier this year when I was in South Korea and Thailand. We cover everything I put inside and exactly how I pack it. Sign up for Pack Hacker Pro to check it out. Chances are you will always have your phone on you. However, using it all day for maps and photos can drain your battery. Power up on the go with the NB10,000 battery bank. 
Nikkor's ultra slim power bank packs 10,000 milliamp hours of power to fast charge your phone with a max power output of 20 watts. That comes in handy when your battery drains when hiking the cold smoky mountains or when you're going from rope drop to fireworks at the theme park. You can recharge your phone at least twice throughout the day with a fully charged NB10,000 or power up both yours and a friend's. Low current mode works for wireless earbuds and smartwatches to keep your step streak alive. The power indicator is easy to read and the USB ports are outlined in bright yellow so you know exactly where to plug in your cord. While it has sharp corners which can be uncomfortable in a pocket, this is still our highest rated battery bank at the time of this video because of its awesome capacity weight ratio. I just mostly carry it in my sling anyway so there's really no need to put it in a pocket. This next product comes in handy more often than you'd think. There's not always a shelf to set your bag down in an airport restroom, or a hook strong enough for a large travel backpack. Inside the carabiner, a large hook flips up on a 360 degree swivel. Then it can hang on the edge of the table if the floor inside the pub is uncomfortably sticky, over the side of your bunk bed at a hostel, and on a hook on the back of the bathroom door. There never seems to be enough hooks in a hotel room and a hero clip lets you create your own. With the carabiner at the end, you can be sure that whatever you try to hang won't slip off accidentally. You can also hang it off your backpack like a regular carabiner to hold onto your water bottle so you can fill the side pockets with an umbrella and a tripod instead. It can also carry your hat, travel towel, and anything else you want to hang outside of your bag. Staying hydrated is even more important while traveling. It helps you stave off headaches and recover faster from jet lag. So we like to pack a travel bottle. The Zojirushi stainless mug works for hot or cold beverages, so you don't need to pack a coffee cup and a water bottle. That's handy for enjoying your coffee on a trip to the airport and then refilling it with water after you're through TSA. And it's pretty lightweight considering it's great insulation. The lid locks tight so you don't have to worry about accidental leaks, yet it has a quick release so you can open it one-handed when driving in your rental car. You'll have to wash it by hand and you're not always guaranteed to have a dishwasher while traveling anyway. Make sure to clean it thoroughly if you are a diehard coffee or tea drinker though. While the inside stainless steel stays pretty pristine, the white spout can stain easily especially if you leave it in your bag for a few days once you reach your destination. However, with a 16 ounce capacity and slim design, we think it's a bottle you want to use daily throughout your trip. From holding cords and dongles to lip balm, there are a ton of small items that can just get lost in the bottom of your bag. So pack the Tom Bin Ghost Whale Organizer Pouches. The sizes start at Super Mini, which can hold AirPods, Chapstick, and similarly sized items. I love these so much, I used three on the last version of our Digital Nomad packing list, one was a mini first aid kit, another held some small toiletry items, and then another very small dongles that I didn't want getting lost in the bottom of my tech pouch. There's also mini, small, and the A5, which is big enough for an A5 size notebook and pens. These pouches are made from scrap fabric, so you can feel good about saving them from the cutting room floor and ultimately the dumpster. You'll also be happy when you don't have to dig to the bottom of your day packer sling to find the smallest USB dongle that just went to the bottom of the bag. Whichever size you pick, they have a clip you can hook to your O-rings in a Tom Bin bag or loop to whatever backpack you have at home. And the L-shaped zipper allows you to open it slightly to grab what you need from the top without everything else spilling out. It really is a great little piece. We know that your phone has a flashlight app, but there is still a case for carrying standalone illumination. And that's why we dig the Night Cortini 2. It's ridiculously bright for its size, compact, and easy to carry every day. You can clip it to your keychain or outside of your backpack to light up the night, or under the Airbnb bed to check for missing socks at the end of your stay. Or you might start climbing the stairs to your hotel room and find the stairwell dark between floors. And it's nice to have up to 500 lumens to brighten your way so you don't trip. Granted, shining at full blast will drain the battery in less than an hour, but there are lower modes that are just as useful. They range from one lumen, which is helpful for reading without disturbing a roommate with the blazing bedside light, to 200, which will light up a hotel room. And there are stops at 15 and 65 lumens along the way. You'll want to practice changing the setting before leaving home since it can be a little tricky to get used to at first, especially with larger fingers. When it runs out, you can recharge the lithium ion battery with a USB cord so you won't have to scrounge for hard to find batteries when you're in another country. If you're overwhelmed in a crowd, then you might want to get lost in a calm playlist. And the same goes if you need directions while biking through the Netherlands. And we'd bet that headphones are something you reach for at home daily too. I like the AirPods Pro, and yes, I know that not everyone is Team Apple. But the incredible noise cancellation helps me tune out a talkative seat made on the plane, or I can change the setting to allow more sound to seep through so I can hear important announcements as I approach my destination. They also come in handy for getting into flow state when I'm at the co-working space, coding up some new features for the website. 
And for your introverts out there, they are perfect for avoiding small talk in the marketplace. We know there are other good brands in the market, though Apple is ubiquitous and a great choice, especially if you're already a part of the ecosystem. If you tried AirPods before and they didn't fit your ears, the latest pros come with four different sizes of silicone tips, so you can, hopefully, find one that's comfy for your ear. Just like some other gear on this list, there are countless ways that you can use a cable tie. Although in many cases, it is nice to be able to undo that tie quickly without needing to cut it free. That's why the world needs more Velcro. Cable ties from the brand to be specific. They work pretty much the same way as the plastic version or zip tie that you can pick up from the home improvement store. They're pre-cut and feature a small hole to thread one end through to keep it attached to your cable. Unlike the plastic versions, you can use them more than once and connect them together to make a longer loop when you need to keep something thicker, like a yoga mat, all tied up. I use them to contain cords in my tech kit, but you could tie back the curtains in your hotel room and even strap a bottle to your backpack. The possibilities are really endless once you start getting creative and just remembering that you have them with you. Of course, they may attract more than just the other end, so you could find yourself cleaning hair and lint out of them after a while. Still, they're lightweight and easy to pack, so they'll definitely be an essential you won't mind bringing just in case on your next trip. So there you have it, the travel essentials we keep on hand for a trip every single day. Let us know what everyday carry travel gear you carry down in the comments below. Thanks for keeping here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.